It happens to everyone. There you are, merrily enjoying your morning cup of joe. And wow, that 3D printer makes a great mug warmer. But then, the inevitable happens. Uh-oh. Oh, no! Wiping up that spill just isn't gonna cut it, my friend. But who needs the hassle of using harsh chemicals or abrasive cleaners? Stop the insanity! There must be a better way! There is. And in today's video, I'll show you my process for cleaning the bed on the Ender 3V2. Dirt and oils off your fingertips. Dust, including dead skin cells. Gross. Little bits of residue from previous prints. These are the enemies in your battle for good bed adhesion. Choose your weapon wisely. Boy, that was fun. But for real, there's a lot of varying information out there about how to clean the bed on the Ender 3V2. Uh, I've seen suggestions ranging from acetone to vinegar, soap and water, various drinks of alcohol. I've come up with a method that's been working really well for me, and today I'm going to share it with you. Now, there's a couple of caveats. We're talking about the bed that came stock on the Ender 3V2, and it's got this special coating on top of the glass, right? And we don't want to mess that up. Number two, I've only been working with PLA, so we may have to come up with another method for other types of filament. So with that stated, let's get started. First things first, we need to make up our cleaner. Luckily, you can make this with common ingredients that you probably already have at home. If you don't, you should be able to pick them up at any dollar store. So the first thing we need is some water. Honestly, tap water will do. Our second ingredient is going to be rubbing alcohol. Now this comes in different varieties. I've got 91% here, 70% here. Sometimes you find 50%. And the mixing kind of depends on what you get, but honestly, it doesn't matter. And our third ingredient, dish soap. So to recap, I've got my water, I have dish soap, and I have rubbing alcohol. I picked up these nifty little spray bottles at a dollar store. I got two of them for a dollar. That works out pretty well. So what we're going to do is we're going to mix up um, our solution. And what I like to do here, it, it really, it doesn't have to be exact, but somewhere around half and half on the alcohol and the water. So I've got half my water. Oh, about to make a mess. Let's go ahead and pour in about half of our alcohol. And then I'm going to add just a drop of dish soap. Now, if you're using a bigger container, you want might want more dish soap. But then we're going to shake that up. Now, a lot of people ask me, they say, Brian, but, but how do I know exactly how much? Honestly, it doesn't matter. For what I've been doing for the 3D printer, I'll do, like I said, about half and half water and alcohol. Um, sometimes I'll make it stronger. I'll go as strong as two-thirds alcohol to one-third water. A lot of that is going to depend on the concentration of your alcohol. You're not going to hurt anything, so play around with it and find what works best for you. So now that we've made our cleaner, what I like to do is go ahead and heat my bed up. Uh, and get it up into that 50 to 60 degree range. You want to make sure that you don't burn yourself doing that, but I found that it cleans a little bit better. So we're going to take our magic elixir. We're going to spray it onto a microfiber cloth. Again, if you don't have one, you can pick them up for around a dollar or less. They're not hard to find. So we're going to spray it on there, and then we're just going to gently rub in circles on the bed hitting anywhere that we've touched or uh, might have extra nastiness on it. And then while the bed's hot, I like to let it sit for a few minutes to make sure that all of our cleaner evaporates off before we start printing. Thank you for your input. So anyway, that's it. And this is a method that's been working really well for me basically since I got the printer. Um, I think you'll still find that you need to deep clean it in the sink with really hot water and soap from time to time, but it's been over a month and counting since I've done that. I just do this before every print and it's been working really well. 
By the way, I've been using this homebrew mix of cleaner now for years. I use it on things like my glasses. I use it on computer screens. I use it on my phone, the electronics on the boat. You'll find that it's a pretty safe cleaner. And when it comes to our special bed, that's kind of why I went with it. Uh, yeah, beds are wearable surfaces, but I like my money and would like to make that bed last as long as possible. So I'm a big fan of using as mm, less of a destructive method as possible. And this works. I hope you liked today's video. And if you did, please leave me a like below. Consider subscribing to the channel and hit that little bell so you get notified when I upload more videos like these. Happy 3D printing and have a great day.